Welcome YouTube viewers. This is your man Scratch. And what I'll be doing is I'm going to make a nice fat beat for y'all. It's not going to take too long. I'm going to have my samples laid out. And I'll probably be taking you through the steps of what it takes to make a nice beat. As you can see, I already started. I'm using cut bass. And as I already started, I have the... Uh, what is it? I have the uh, first sample already loaded. But I'm going to add drum beat to it and everything else just to make a nice fat little beat. So I hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to reset the camera here and see if you can pick everything up. Alright. Okay, YouTube viewers. Can't guarantee how this is going to come out. But uh, this is my first shot of making a video. I have a uh, Ozone M Audio. I have a laptop the few plugins and software that I'll be using and uh, also I have um, I have a uh, SP Roland SP606 which I'll probably be using some other time when I do another recording um, I myself prefer the uh, SP606 over the Ozone just because I'm by nature a drummer and uh, just the patterns are a little easier to play on the pads than they are on the keys. So, bear with me folks. We're going to do this. See what I come up with. Tell me what you think. Yeah. Okay, that's the uh, sample that I used earlier. I've already recorded it. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see me play that. But I'm going to layer some drum beats on top of that and see what we come up with. So, stand by. Bear with me. Here we go. Okay, we're recording again. Let's see what we got right here. Alright, let's go with it again. I guess I found a uh, snare that I like. It's kind of a combination. One sounds like a hand clap, and the other sounds like a tight snare. So you got the uh, combination. So the way I'm gonna play it's probably you know one, and I'm gonna do both, then one, and then the other again. So follow along and uh, see what we get. Okay, I like that. I like that bass right there. 
Okay, we're going to try this bass here with it. that's that track now I'm gonna add some bass lines so I'll be back in a minute as soon as I find me a good bass line to go with it alright we're back again and we found a bass line that I'm gonna use with this uh, it's just a basic I don't know if you can pick that up or not that's the bass line I'm gonna add with it so let's give it a shot and see what happens Okay, uh, I'm going to add some more stuff to it and then I'll be right back. So, holla. Okay, now we got the finished product somewhat. Uh, I'm probably going to add some more stuff to it, play around with it a little bit, but you get the basic idea of how simple it is to make a beat. Uh, you can use all kinds of VST plugins if you're using a uh, cut bass or if you got the um, SP606 or the creme de la creme the MPC 1000 then somewhat a little uh, easier but more or less it's a live situation and uh, you don't have as much uh, variation so without further ado listen to this one www.myspace.com slash 
DJ Scratch 98. That's DJ S C R A T C H 98. Check it out. Bye bye, y'all. Productions, yeah.